welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to drop down and fix mistakes. This is a knit two together here. I just worked this row in white yarn so that you'd be able to see um, the knit two together. This is actually the row right here where the function was performed. This is the stitch where we made one stitch out of two. So this is in the row below. And let's imagine that I really wanted to have an SSK there, but I accidentally made a knit two together. So I'm going to show how to drop down all the way down here and fix this and make it an SSK. Also, over here, I accidentally made a make one right. Again, the function is in this row. This is the bar that was pulled up and twisted to the right to make the make one right. Let's suppose that I really wanted to have a make one left there, so I'm going to show how to drop down here and turn it into a make one left. So this is about fixing mistakes. It gives you a lot of power when you're able to do this. It makes you feel like a superhuman being, a super knitter. You'll be a super knitter when you can do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work over, we're just going to uh, move the stitches over onto the other end of the needle so that we can get to the column where the problem is. And I think it's in that column right there, yes. And then we're going to take this stitch off and we're going to let it drop down. Now, amazingly, wool does not just run like old-fashioned nylon stockings used to, you actually have to pull the stitches out. So I'm going to pull these out down to the problem. And I made it quite a ways down because often this is when you see your mistakes is way down there. This is the stitch that was the problem right here. So we're going to pull it out, and that's going to release the two stitches that were going to be the SSK, but accidentally got made into a knit two together. So a knit two together, the left stitch comes on top of the right stitch. In an SSK, the right stitch comes on top of the left stitch. So an SSK, the stitches would be in this order, like this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our handy dandy Susan Bates handy tool or any crochet hook that's small enough. This is worsted weight yarn, so a small crochet hook works good. We're going to go through those two stitches and get them in the right order for an SSK. Then we're going to look at these uh, stitches that are out here. And I, let's see, let's lay this down so we can see these. Each one of these bars that's going across here represents a row. And we want to be sure that when we work these back up that we work them in the same sequence, that we don't accidentally cross one over the other. So it's good to lay them out. I have my SSK worked properly here, and the very first bar is right here. So I'm going to slip my crochet hook under it with the hook up. I'm going to catch it, turn the hook down a little bit so I don't catch my two stitches, pull it through, hook back up. Now we have our nice SSK. Then we're just going to work our way back up, hook up, go under the bar, turn it down, pull the strand through, hook up, go under the bar, turn it down, pull the strand through, and this is pretty easy. It's actually worth practicing on a swatch so that if you ever have to do this on a garment, you'll be a pro at it and you won't be afraid of doing it and messing up your garment. Just be sure you get them in the same order. If you get them mixed up, it kind of gets a funky look and does not look good. So, let's take a look and see what we've got. Now we have a lovely SSK and our stitches are all picked back up. We fixed it. 
So let's move over here to the make one right that should have been a make one left. Which column is that in? It's right here. Again, we're going to take that stitch off. Even when I pull it, it's hard to get those out. So, not hard, but they don't just fall out like you think they would. You have to pull them out. Your knitting's not... If you're working with rayon or silk or bamboo or something like that, yes, they'll just slip right out. But not wool. Here we go. Here's where we had picked up the bar and we twisted it the wrong way. We twisted it to the right, and we really want to twist it to, a le to the left. So again, we get all those strands out, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our crochet hook, come up under that bar, and we're going to twist it to the left. So now we have a left make one, and we're going to pick up that first bar, pull it through, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side, just picking up one bar at a time. Go with the hook up, turn it down, and pull it through. The important thing is when you go first, go under it, have the hook up. And you're going under the bars to pick them up. So this is a great uh, skill to have in your knitting repertoire. I have lots of other videos on fixing mistakes, including dropping down in cables and other such things, fixing mistakes in lace, dropping down in lace. I have videos on dropping down in double knitting, brioche, all sorts of things. So now we have, uh oh, look, there's a loose space there. So what we'll do is we'll just rearrange our stitches, tug on the tension a little bit because it's the same amount of yarn. There we go. Now they look good. So there you go. I hope you like my videos. If you do, be sure to give me a thumbs up down there. Hit the subscribe button. Share these videos with your friends on social media like Ravelry, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, any other area where you talk with friends online. And be sure to come back and watch some more. Happy knitting!